Hey, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this animation in After Effects. The idea started of this poster in here. So I started in Adobe After Effects with a composition with a spray ratio of 3 by 4. I wrote the word New York and I made the basic design for it. Now I use a ruler to figure out how much I want to stretch these two letters and I started to create a simple squash and stretch text animation. By the way, I have a similar guide to this one where I explain everything in deep. If you find yourself struggling with this type of animation, you can go watch that video. Now that I made the basic animation, it was time for adding the easings to it. I went with the simple 60% easings as usual. And then I used Ease Copy to make every set of keyframes look the same. Now this was the hardest part of my today's challenge. I wanted to create an offset between each letter without breaking the animation. And I wanted each letter to be in a line with the other letters. So here we go. played with the animation for about 10 minutes and I wasn't quite satisfied with it, but I decided to add colors and work on it more. Finally I made something that was close to what I wanted, so I made a new composition and I brought the text to it. The first thing I noticed was that the easings weren't as good as it should be, so I decided to change the easings. After a few tries, I found the best easing settings that I could go for this animation. Now it was time to install my animation. I decided to add a gradient ramp and use different shades of our orange color. Then I downloaded the black texture and I have animated. Well, if you have problem with animating textures, you can watch this video that pops up now. Once I have finished the animating texture, I brought the texture to my design and I set the color mode to a screen and I reduce the brightness of the texture by a curve effect. Mm -hmm. 
Now it was time that I add a stroke to my text, which I did it in later styles. Well, after that, there was an idea in my mind that says, try to add a 3D Fox movement to your design. Well, I said to myself that, let's do it. If it works, I keep it. And if it doesn't, well, I just simply delete it. So to do that, I have duplicated the main comp and I have pushed it to the right side. Luckily, it worked, so I just needed to change the colors. Well, now there was a minor issue. So when I added the fake treaty to design, the letters were not on the line anymore. So I have locked the main composition and I went inside the text layer to adjust the letters one by one. Everything was done by now, so I decided to add a posterized time effect and reduce the frame rate to 50 to make it more cartoony look. I can say that I was quite happy with the end result. Well, here we are at the end of this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel as it will help me out a lot for the future content. Thank you so much for watching this video, goodbye.